Hi there, me again. I know, three in a week. Can you believe it? Are you sick of me yet? If you don't know, my name is Hayley and this is my channel, The Hay Meadow, where we regularly talk about sewing and sewing our own clothes. We have a bit of a chat about patterns. We look at fabrics, all kinds of inspiration. And we also unbox some Sewscription fabric boxes. And today, my Beyond the Pink Door box arrived. So I'm very excited about this. Um, so why don't we just get into it? Before we go there though, um, you probably want to know what I'm wearing. Now, I today I have on my um, so Frugal 23 entry. This is my Forget Me Not Patterns Vera top. So this is a knit fabric and it's you probably can't even see it um, under all of this. So I'm not gonna I'm not doing the usual spiel about how I've come home from work and rahdy rahdy ra because that's what's happened, but anyway. Um, so I'll stand up, but you're not gonna see a great deal. So you see the V-neck of the Vera, lovely V-neck, just a little scarf that I picked up, I've had this one for years. Now over the top of it is a ready to wear um, Cardi that I've got. I haven't attempted any knit, like sweater knits yet. I really want to, and I'm going to I'll talk about that a bit later. Um, but this is, happens to be a favourite Cardi. So this is, as I said, a ready-to-wear, has this lovely detail, which is then followed through around the bottom. So it's um, got a bit of a flow to it. But the sleeves are what I love the most. So they have a puff and they're a three-quarter. And the minute I put it on with my Vera top, this is not the first time I've worn it, I just fell in love because look at that. How cool does that look? So I've gone on a pair of black, just, you know, usual work type business pants. And then I've got a little pair of um, flat type Mary Jane shoes, which have a little leather butterfly on one side, which bring out the tones in this particular scarf. So I'll take it off so you can see the um, sleeves of the Vera because they're fantastic. I love this shot, this top, this blouse. I love this blouse. So here we go. Look at that. How beautiful is that? I hope you can see that. How lovely is that? Lovely big um, cuff. And then this gorgeous balloon sleeve. Hopefully you can't see the bits of fluff that are coming off. <laughs> But yes, so there we go. That's what I'm wearing today. Now, thank you very much for all the people who have watched the garden or the backyard tour. Um, I just wanted to confirm we didn't do the layout. So we only bought the house and moved in in January. The layout was one of the things that actually sold us on the place. Um, we love the different sections that it has. And as a lot of you have seen, so much potential. Someone did ask how big the block was. And I think it's something like 869 square meters. Um, so it's not large, but then it's not small either. So I think it's probably twice as big as a normal sort of house block these days here in Australia, like a suburban type house block, all the all the um, developments that you see going up. Um, so yes, yeah, so we're very happy. Lots of room for us to um, do what we want, yet not be overwhelmed by it in later years so we're very happy um i still have my feet are still intact although i do have some battle scars on my hands from freya but um she'll get there she's lovely she's lovely so you forget how intense puppies are um and see are definitely very different temperaments uh, and that's the, the species of the dogs as well um, we knew what we were getting into or we we knew what we were in for and she hasn't disappointed and she's absolutely lovely so now 
that's enough of that. I'll talk some more at the end, but you probably want to see what's in this box. I know I do. So let's get to it. So it arrived today. It must have been um, reasonably late in the afternoon because Chris is home. Um, he's He was actually installing... Um, I'm not sure. I don't think I showed you in the tour... Um, when we moved from my grandparents' house, which is where we lived before here, we had to clean out um, all of the sheds. So uh, Pop had gathered a lot of things and so had my uncle. Um, so all of that needed to be rehomed. Um, and my uncle didn't have the storage capacity for a lot of it. We were lucky enough to receive two salvaged, I'm not sure if they're actually street lights. Um, it would be more, you know, when you go into an outdoor shopping mall and you've got the lights on a pole with the big um, like lamp and then inside that is the light bulb. We've got two of those. So they're being, or Chris is installing those into the garden so that um, as you walk down to the vegetable garden right at the back there, there'll be one halfway um, at the end in the little garden area between the sewing room and Chris's workshop. One, that's the one he's installed today. And then the next one will be going down um, opposite the chicken palace. You may have noticed that there was a um, archway with a plant growing, a creeper climber growing over it uh, in about that area. So that will light up down there. So they're lovely and big and I'll definitely do an update. I know lots of people have asked for an update in six months, 12 months, something like that. Um, so we'll definitely do that and you'll be able to see those then. So, so that's what he's been up to today. So anyway, off topic, how unusual. I know you're all surprised. And we have our wonderful box. Always, always a pleasure. Oh, I love these stickers. Look at this. It's a little bit squished, but you'll get the idea. It's Andrea's pink door. Come in. Oh, how awesome. Oh, oh, I didn't see. So on the box, on the front of the box, it actually says new box coming soon. Oh, of course, because normally, one I prepared earlier, normally they look like this. Okay, I'm not disappointed. Okay, let's get into here. As usual, Heartless as always just gets stuck in. Oh, so we're on box 17. I didn't even try and guess today. So oh, we're on box 17. Oh, so this month we have an easy fruit sorbet recipe. Of course, um, if you don't know, if you're new here, then you may not know that the Beyond the Pink Door subscription boxes actually come from Ireland. So Ireland are in their summer at the moment, so they're enjoying um, lots of warm, well, maybe not lots of warm weather because I, I know I saw something about rain the other day. Um, but yes, so maybe they're making lots of sorbet. Okay, so this month we have... 2.5 meters of 100% viscose and there were three colorways available okay well it's well wrapped this month I'm not going to look because I don't want to be spoilt by the surprise so lovely wrapped up this time let's have a look Ooh. Oh, nice. Oh, wow. Not going to tell you. Okay, so we'll start off with our card, and I'm not going to show you the opposite side. Oh, beautiful. Oh, I'm very happy. Very happy. Um, I'm in a flip-flop state of mind. Now, 
here in Australia, as if you don't know already, because most people do, we call flip-flops thongs. So I'm in a thong state of mind. Don't go thinking about those other thongs. I know you guys. So I won't show you the other side, but the other colors are gorgeous and I can't wait to show you this. This is lovely. Okay, so. Ooh. Oh, I like that. Okay, so most of our things are in here this month. And we have Keep Palm and Carry On. I don't know. I think there's too many people having lots of holidays at the moment. I know I'm not having a holiday anytime soon. But I keep seeing people off here, there and everywhere. I'm not jealous though. Seriously, I'm not. I can't pick the scent, but I know it smells good. Mm. Oh, oh, this, this is, oh, very clever. Okay, so before I show you, <laughs> summertime, you've got your thongs on, you've got your flip flops on. What is the one thing you want to make sure you've done when you're wearing your thongs out with a lovely dress or a nice pair of shorts that you've made lovely pair of sandals even you want to make sure that your feet aren't all cracked and, and scaly so we have a gorgeous little foot loofer how cool is that so that's a little scrub a little scrub pad that is that is really good that's really hard oh made from natural coconut fiber there we go that's really good. I have actually um, watched a video um, a while ago now about a woman growing loofers. Now, I didn't realise at the time that loofah was a plant. I just thought it was a bit like a sponge, sea sponge. And yeah, I was like, you're kidding me? You can grow those? Do you know how much they cost? So yes, yeah, so anyway... Oh, maybe I'll grow loofers and become a loofer baron. I'll be my own royalty. Um, so there we go. One of those. That's good. I need that. And if I don't need it now, I will. <laughs> okay. And of course, if you're going to use a loofer or a scrub, then you'll need a gorgeous soap to go with it. So what have we got here? Ooh. Luxurious Artesian Irish Soap. Handmade in Kilo, Killalo. That doesn't sound right. County Clare Island. I'll show you. Um, I think... I think the business is called... Oh, yeah, it must be. I think the business is called Palm Free Zero Waste. So I'm sorry if that's if I've not got that right it must be because there's the Instagram there palm free does that say yeah yeah okay and I already saw that I think it says seaweed seaweed doesn't smell oh well I don't know what it smells like but there we go how lovely is that I don't know about you, but <laughs> whenever I see these types of soaps, and I buy the I buy these sorts of things regularly myself. Um, I live in a region of Adelaide in the sort of foothills um, called the Barossa Valley, and there is a town in the Barossa called Harndorf. It's quite popular. It's a um, when it was first settled, it was predominantly settled by Germans, um, so it's. It has a lot of German heritage to it and it's a, um, a weekend, not just a tourist zone because lots of locals go there, but they, their main street, there's lots of little boutique type shops. There's one up there and I, the name of it escapes me at the moment, but um, it's a handmade soap place. So when I go in there to buy soaps just like this, they look like cakes like bar cakes with icing drizzled all over them. Seriously, sometimes you, you think, oh, that looks like it would taste fantastic. I'm sure it wouldn't. So anyway, 
that's a so it's palm free handmade Irish soap so there we go very nice thank you and of course as per usual my description box down below I'll have links to any of the uh, businesses that that are mentioned in here okay next up now this is fantastic so this is quirky haberdashery lovingly made and Andrea has had her own patch made how fantastic is that I have no idea where I'm going to use that, but I'm definitely going to have to use that. Maybe on a bag or a pocket. Mm. So I think it's on, what's it on? Oh, it's by the Specky Seamstress. Oh, cool. Oh, I should have realised that because there she is right there. But no, they are fantastic. I... I really like the fact that we get lots of little um, boutique and artisan gifts in these boxes. Not just these, but um, the ones from the Dahlia Society as well. Okay, so we are up to our thread. And I will tell you now that out of the three colourways, pink was one of them. And it is gorgeous. So before I show you the back of the card, so the, all the other colourways... I'll show you the fabric so I'll try and I'm, I'm looking in the little screen to make sure I don't show you because every time I try and do that I end up flashing the um, fabric anyway okay so I'm gonna pop that down there I'm gonna go like this wow this is just gorgeous take a look at this Look at that how fantastic is that that just screams summer you know that reminds me i feel like i should be on the beach having an ice cream that's how this makes me feel look at that that's beautiful i really like that the the shapes on it so there we go absolutely gorgeous I think that's sort, I'm pretty sure this is like a caftan. This is going to be a caftan or a caftan top, like a, maybe a, a cover up for at the beach. That just, it reminds me of a beach ball. Isn't that wonderful? I am loving, loving, loving this. Okay, so I guess you want to see the other, um, the other colorways. Oh, I've brought, I'm lying. I didn't bring her here specifically, but while she's here, we'll make good use of her. Look at that. Don't you just love viscose? I love viscose. Just the drape of it. So beautiful. Look at that. There you go. You can see that as a caftan, can't you? So what have we got? We've got purple. So it's like a mauve. Um, a pinky sort of purple, a white, and then like a corally type of colour. They just look gorgeous. And the um, geometric patterns are actually, they're not, it's not uniform, I guess is what I'm trying to say. So it's quite abstract as well. Oop. Very nice. Okay, so what other colours were there? So there was the colour that I received. And then there's gorgeous green. So that looks like it's a couple of different shades of green. And then purpley colour over here. How cute are they? They are so gorgeous. Oh. Look at that ginormous hint on the back there. Seriously. So there we go. That is our box. Another fantastic addition of our soscription box and this is going to come in use I can tell you as is that that is so cool you know I really like things like this because this says I'm part of something that's exclusive 
I may have just flung it off the end of the table there. Anyway, okay, so now I said I was going to talk about um, something else and what I'm going to talk about is what I'm making this week. So I'm um, each night I'm doing a little bit. I won't be doing anything tonight on this because obviously I'm doing this, but I am making up the latest fabric from the Dahlia Society. Now, if you didn't see that video, because, you know, I don't expect you to watch all my videos, um, you may not have seen the fabric. Now, I've mentioned before that I'm not really one for an animal print, but this is gorgeous. I am so in love with this fabric that I, I want to make it up. So I'm going to make the Stylark Genoa skirt. That's the one I couldn't think of the other day. So I've printed out the pattern. And um, last night I printed it, stuck it together, cut it out. Now, when I was um, when I was having a look at the skirt itself, I've never made a bias cut skirt before. The couple of skirts that I have made have all been disasters. Um, I'm not very curvy. I've never been very curvy. I'm sort of even when 20 years ago, um, when I did have some shape and not just round. Um, I've never been an hourglass or wide hips. I'm sort of basically straight up and down. Um, some of the advice that I received when I was talking about the skirts that I've made, because I make them for my waist, but then the hips are ridiculously big. Like, they're just unwearable because... They're just so big. So some of the advice that I got was to make the skirt for my hip width because you're going to have to get it up uh, from your hips. And my, my hips are larger than my waist, so that's fine. So as long as you can get it above your hips, then it's going to fit your waist. So that's what I've done. I've gone via my... Um, widest hip measurements so my low hip um, and that's what I'm using so now I am making a twirl first and I'm making it out of this fabric so this is a cotton sateen that I picked up from Spotlight when I very first sort of started sewing so probably 2020 maybe I don't think I've written it on here no um, you know, Spotlight were having a sale, um, which they do regularly, thankfully. And all I was doing was going through, going through the sale or the markdown tables, looking at fabric that I liked, and then buying. Um, I think this must have been an end of roll one because I've got 3.7 meters of this. So, and I think that will make a really, really nice skirt. Now, I think that I could wear this skirt with the top and cardi that I had on today. Maybe even this scarf, but I've got plenty of others to choose from. So that's my toile. And then I'll make it out of the um, beautiful leopard print from that latest box. So that's this week's plan. That may stretch into next week as well, but that's what I'm going to do. Um, now, when I was reading through the reviews of this particular pattern, a number of people had mentioned that the pattern piece is for a quarter of the skirt. So to make it simple as, it's two pieces. And what you do is you put the quarter skirt together. I guess you mark that out on your fabric and then you flip it over. Because it's a bias cut skirt, I'm not sure how you'd go like doing it on the fold. Again, haven't done this before, so my first go. Um, so what I did was I knew that on my printer, I had I was pretty sure that I had seen a mirror function. So that's exactly what I did. Last night, I printed the pattern the normal way. Then I printed just one page of the pattern um, in the mirror 
um, function and then just lined it up and yep no problem so that's what I've done I've printed another pattern in the mirror and then just stuck them together so it's sitting on the ironing board over there um, ready to go so yeah so if you you know if maybe you were struggling with that check your printer you may have the mirror function on yours as well um, for mine it was on like the advanced settings or something like that but yes so anyway that's what I'm planning for this week and with that I'm actually done I've hardly got off track this is a miracle this must be a first anyway with that I will say good night and um I will get this in the uh, through the overlocker so it can go in the wash and um, come out here ready for summer. Very happy, very happy. Have a great week and I will see you next time. Bye.